Welcome to our Hatch Embroidery Getting Started series. Today we will learn about the toolbars in Hatch, including the context toolbar and how it changes according to the selected objects. We'll learn why sometimes your tools are not available. I'll show you in the software how to find out more about the tools in your software. Hatch's online documentation is your first go-to source to learn more about the individual tools and their uses. You can access the online documentation in the Help menu. A quick, easy way is to hover your mouse over the tool and press F1 on your keyboard. Here's a tip. If you're in the online documentation, a quick way to get to the beginning is to click on the big H Hatch logo in the upper left-hand corner of your screen. While you're there, I want to point out that you can download the entire zip file, a PDF, for the online documentation from this starting page. Also, be sure to check out the Quick Reference Guide section for menus and toolbars. Now, let's get started with toolbars. Our toolbars are located at the top these icons that you see. They are commands by icons, if you will. This makes it quick and easy to perform your task. The software has what we call a context toolbar. This means that you will not see all the icons or tasks available unless they can be used on the design or the objects selected. For example, you will not see, nor do you see right now, a rotate icon until you have a design selected that can be rotated. So it's always important to have the parts of your design selected that you want to change. In fact, it's mandatory. If you do not have a design open on screen, which I don't here, or you do not have any parts of the design selected, your toolbars may look like this. You will not see a lot of the icons. But as soon as you open a design, and as soon as you select that design, you'll notice that there's a lot more icons available. A lot of these icons is what you'll use. This context toolbar is very helpful once you understand it, because if you do not see an icon you're looking for, then either you don't have the object selected, or you cannot apply it to the objects that you already have selected. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this video helpful. Make sure you check out our other videos in the Hatch Getting Started series.